Ferdinand Porsche had no idea that the first car he ever built in 1900 would now be known as a hybrid. And he certainly didn't know it was going to evolve into this. I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Last episode, it was the Koenigsegg Agera R on one end of the wild consumption spectrum. This go around, Porsche just announced the 918 Spider will go into production. Well, I suppose the Porsche files out there had high hopes of this car seeing the production line, and they can rejoice. The first delivery date is September or November of 2013, and 918 of these Eco Gems are going to be built. This car costs $850,000, and it gets 94 miles to the gallon, if you can believe that. Well, if I were so inclined and blessed with that much money and a pure heart, which is questionable, I could buy roughly 60 to 70 Fiat 500s and pass them out to all my friends, thus multiplying my chances of saving the planet. On the other hand, for a little more cash, I could have a Tomahawk cruise missile, thus solidifying my support of the Second Amendment. That might be a little over the top, but so am I. 918 of these cars are going to be built, and you can bet that every single one of them are going to be sold. Some changes were made via the sketches just released, but they're minor. Porsche thought this one through. They'll let the rich pay for the R&D and incorporate the technology into their other lines as well as the VW group. Now that's assuming that that merger survives. This car's got 718 horsepower with the electric motors assisting and around 520 without. The diagram you see shows the layout of the system and from the reports this car's already eclipsed the Porsche Carrera GT around the Nürburgring. The engine's a 4 liter V8 based on Porsche's racing spider and it'll go from 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds with a top speed pushing over 200 miles an hour. And if you want a little quiet time, this car will run for 20 miles on just the electric motors. The only things that appear to be revised on this supercar is a bit on the front end, the hood, and the quarter panel. Also, the exhaust is going to go from two pipes to one. I could live with that. The big bonus here, if you can buy one, you can also buy a special edition 911 Turbo that incorporates some of the design elements. But wait, there's more. Order now, and those of you who are so inclined can get Lars. Seen here moonlighting as a sculptor in Porsche's design center. Hey, he's a masseuse in the evenings. For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. Next up is the Fisker Karma, another hybrid, but a classy looking one.